<laughs> there are only six things, don't you know? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> okay, anyway. Really, Grand I will say, it's really cool to see the Buzz's Rosalina in general. And the yeah. character, it requires a lot of careful play. So, oh, and we saw that definitely in the winner's finals. So let's see if he can continue that kind of just g effective game plan moving into Grand's here, where he only has to win one set to Dill's two. This is a really big, solid lead for the Buzz to just open up this set. 106, pretty much, for the most part, uncontested. But without a Luma, this could be Dill's big chance to maybe get a little bit of damage in. But as you see, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, for, for Dill, a huge component is going to be baiting out the down beats because mm -hmm. Rosalina does have a, not a lot, but there is lag on that down beat which means that if he's able to position himself well, especially because Gyro doesn't have a hitbox when it's being dragged into her. Yeah. So he can just go up in her face when doing it, when she's doing it. Uh, and as we're seeing, once he got that sort of, he felt like he was getting handled pretty well, but then he got that one opening, you know, pried open a bit of a gap, and he managed to do almost 100% as a result. That stock is gone now, but he can... He can end the buzz pretty quickly if he plays his cards right. Okay, again, we saw that in the last set, and the yeah. buzz did adapt to it by really delaying his upbeat. But if you notice, that was a pretty delayed side beat to begin with. We keep seeing that the buzz will like build these really strong leads within the same stock, and even get the kill. But then Dill will like close that gap really quickly, like, keeping the pace of the match, like, pretty fast, and, like, just constantly back and forth. They're literally taking turns botting each other. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say, though, Rosalina's damage output doesn't seem that... Wow. I, okay. Right. As It doesn't seem that substantial. Like, the two will go blow for blow, and Rob will end up <gasps> getting ooh, ooh. so much further ahead in terms of damage. All right, yeah, Dill opting to just uh, finish off Luma, uh, punishing that forward air with a laser. And now you see the buzz will pull back quite a bit. Ooh, oh, my God, that was actually really sick, except he, like, missed, he messed up the end part. But gets the kill anyway. Now up, now with a lead. 70 damage is kind of scary, especially with the fact that, like, when she hits, she hits kind of hard. Oh, my God. Erasing that gyro out of existence. Yeah, that's a and forward Dill smash. following. That is a forward smash to even things up. Great job with the ledge trapping. That's something that kind of disappeared up until now. Like during the beginning, I feel like that's the big thing is that when Dill is getting ledge trapped, it's miserable. And he gets he, he eats like 100% without being able to do anything. But then as soon as he gets off ledge effectively, he's able to like mount a two stock comeback. Great air dodge, recognizing how lethal that up air would have been, and that's what the buzz was looking for. Ooh, that's actually a really interesting trade that that forward air ended up beating Rob's uh, Nair, because they like came in at like opposite angles. They're both spins. He DI'd in on that down throw, and that meant that he had that extra <laughs> damage. Ooh. He's still surviving, but the back air, he's alive! And with Rob's recovery, he's definitely making it back to the stage. Oh god, there, there's the baby. Get the baby up. Oh. Got to focus, man. Keep your eyes on the prize. You were Don't telling him distracted. to hit the baby. You were just saying hit the baby. Okay, I got hit by that too. <laughs> but I'm the one on the mic who who has clear hindsight in pure 2020. <laughs> got to keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> so Dubuz going to get rid of Unova and Smashville. Dill. Okay, yeah, we're going to Kalos again. Uh, these are like the same bands and counterpick we saw uh, in Winter's Finals. Yeah, and so it's worth noting that in uh, Winter's Finals, there ended up being a really close game here on Kalos in Game 2. So, and considering that, like, if, if we want to an analyze trends, right? Yeah. First game they played, Dill got body. Second game, it's pretty close. Third game, did pretty close. Fourth game, you know, you see the trend here? Yeah. 
Ooh, but this is actually the first time we've seen Dill actually like no, start off with a no lead. Way. Okay, yeah, all right. I mean, 59% is nothing to scoff at, and he seems to be building it even more. These high recoveries, though, from DeBuzz, they're risky in their own right, but they're really working out for him at the moment. Oh my god, the Nair into Jab. Didn't give Dill enough time to start up his Nair. And now he's wow. dead! He's dead! What percent was he? Uh, I think he was at like he was at 50. 50. Oh my god. Let's go, Luma. <laughs> Jesus. I, that's not it's... fair. Yeah, 53. He was at 53. He's at 53. That's before the hit, right? Yeah, 53 before hit. 67 after. Oh my god. But at the same time, if you're Dill, you have to respect that. You have to remember yeah, no, you and gotta respect know. that, like, Rosalina can go out there and just kill you. Luma, Luma swole. <laughs> All right, but as you've been seeing, like, a lot of these sets, uh, DeBuzz may have, like, gotten the kill, like, not too long ago, but uh, quite some time. Dill is able to even up the stocks, like, immediately uh, without taking too much percentage. And now... Oh. Luma's out of here, but the buzz is going balls of the wall. <laughs> it's super deep for that with forward air. Solo Rosa, Sora, and Luma. Nope, oh, Sora Luma's is not in there. smashed yet. Oh no, I regret. I regret everything. Anyway, uh, oh my god, these exchanges are so <laughs> rapid fire. Like you, I don't know if you really expected from like Rosalina, like. Rob sometimes, like, when he wants to just, like, you know, go he, oh, all ass, man. he'll do it. But It's uh, just still taking too much time on the ledge, putting too much faith in the idea that he wouldn't get forward smashed right there. Oh, He's my. He's now sitting on his last stock. It's looking grim for this guy. Oh, all right, well. Still knocking out Luma. This would be his chance to try and knock out the stock. Ooh. Hits her with the sour spot of the F smash. Great read. That actually like got it to connect. If it was the strong hit, it might have killed, honestly. But now DeBuzz has Luma back and he's doing a really good job of just like not letting Dill in. This might be the end of the tournament. Ooh, Ooh don't count Dill just, out just well, yet though. <laughs> I'm kinda counting yes, him out. He's, he's out. It's done. Oh, oh man. We did it. All right, yours, brother. You know him best. That's going to be DeBuzz <laughs> being the 181 Grand Champion. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Yeah. <laughs>